The Stanley Parable might just be the funniest game I've ever played. It's also one of the most unique experiences I've ever had and one that I urge you all to try. It's also chock full of easter eggs, secrets and references and that's what we're going to look at today, 20 of them to be exact. This game has tons of different secret endings so I've included the ones that I thought were the coolest and worthy of your attention. Of course if you think an easter egg or secret should have been on this list then the best place to let me know is on Twitter or Instagram, the links to both will be in the description and in my pinned comment. Also, some of the easter eggs in the Stanley Parable involve a lot of talking and for that reason can be quite long, so I will leave timestamps in the description for each easter egg, just in case you want to skip one you might have already seen. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So at first, we'll start with something creepy. The Stanley Parable is a game about being alone, so can anyone explain who this is? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. So this mystery man is pretty rare, in fact I only saw him once in multiple playthroughs. The theories about his identity range from an alternate reality version of Stanley all the way to the mystery man actually being the narrator. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? This next easter egg references Valve's apparent fear of the number 3. If you head downstairs instead of upstairs to your boss's office, you'll find 4 clocks on a wall. They're all numbered apart from the third clock, which instead has the letter B. This is a reference to Valve's reluctance to make third entries to their popular games, including Half-Life, Left 4 Dead and Portal. The narrator is what makes the Stanley Parable the fantastic game it is. He's witty, funny, devious, but also caring depending on how you play. One of my favourite moments involving the narrator can be found by taking the right door instead of the left door. Once you get to the lift, if you step on and quickly step off, this will happen. Oh well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! 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 Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. For this next easter egg, you need to take the left door and press the interact button on the picture I do. So this is apparently one of the developers of the Stanley Parable who perhaps decided he wasn't getting enough credit in real life, who knows. This next easter egg sums up the game perfectly. After multiple playthroughs, there's a chance that you'll start in the blue room instead of Stanley's normal office. When you're in the blue room, you can find this. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So this is known as the whiteboard ending. That's it, there's nothing else to see here, you have to start a new playthrough if you want to continue. If the thought of Stanley Parable's multiple paths and different endings fills you with anxiety, then perhaps you might want to just stay in your office. If you close your door at the beginning of the game, this will happen. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. As always though, the game will begin again with you in your office. There really is no way out. Or is there? As you're about to enter your boss's office, if you step in and quickly step out, the door to the left of Stanley's office will open. Now according to the signs on the wall, this path leads to an escape pod. After climbing a lot of stairs, and I do mean a lot, you finally come to this door.
Yup, you guessed it, you end up back in Stanley's office. One of the stranger easter eggs in the Stanley Parable is known as the Heaven Ending. Throughout the game you can find PCs with the word awaiting input on them. You'll need to interact with the PCs in this order and make sure you restart your game after each one. Once you interact with the final PC in Stanley's office, this will happen. Moving on from one bright and colourful easter egg to another one now. Follow the narrator's story all the way until you're supposed to get on the lift. If you wait here long enough, the gates will open allowing you to backtrack to the first button with the light bulb on it. Press it for this to happen. So this next easter egg is a reference to the developers of Gary's Mod and Rust. If you type in Face Punch, not into the console but during gameplay, this will happen. So the game world is now covered in the logo of Face Punch Studios. Speaking of the console, the Stanley Parable is a source engine game, that means we can turn on server cheats. If you access the console and type in svcheats underscore one, this will happen. Stanley, this is me being serious. In fact, this is my serious room. It's where I come to be serious. That table is the most serious table I could find. I looked at many, many tables, hundreds of tables. It's possible I looked at over a thousand tables, I honestly don't know. The specific number isn't as important as the understanding that of all tables I looked at, this one is the most serious. I relate this story to impress upon you the extent to which this is the most serious room I have, which is why I brought you here. You just tried to activate server cheats, which of course runs the risk of breaking the entire game. You've got no respect for the strict order of scripted narrative events, and I just can't have that. It's time to get serious, Stanley. No jokes, no games. Outside of this room, I might be more tolerant of those things, but now we're in the room. Which is why I'm subjecting you to the most serious punishment I can think of. One hundred billion trillion years standing here in the serious room. Perhaps after that, we can talk about the severity of your actions and whether you've learned anything. But until then, serious room, go. Amusingly, the game even has dialogue if you try to cheat whilst you're in the serious room. Did we not have the talk? Are we not in the serious room this very moment? Did I not tell you how many tables I looked through? I'm going to be conservative and say it was somewhere in the tens of thousands of tables. Any reasonable person would say, I spent an absurd amount of time doing nothing but looking at tables, and I genuinely considered each one too. I took a hell of a lot of notes. I kept the notes in a different room. That room is less serious than this one. It's more of a... a notes room. Again, the point of this story is to convey how serious I feel this cheating issue is. And I'm sure you'll agree with me once you've fulfilled your new punishment. Infinity years in the serious room. I generally have trouble reading human emotions, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you're devastated by this crippling new punishment. As well you should be. It's the most serious I could think of. Can you get more serious than that? No, you can't. Don't try. 
In the end, the only way out of the serious room is to start the game again. Moving on to another easter egg that involves the console now. If you enter the name Raphael into the console, the narrator will only say Stanley's name, albeit in a different pitch and tone. Stanley. 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 Stanley! One of my favourite easter eggs in the Stanley Parable is also a very long one, so if you've seen it already, don't forget to use the timestamps in the description. If you approach this desk in the way that I do, you'll be able to climb on top of it, allowing you to glitch out of the game's map for a window. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realised it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, then in that case we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected Continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, this next clip had me waiting for a long time. You know those gifts that are on a perfect loop and you keep watching, waiting for something to happen? Well, let's just say I waited in this lift for a long time. The game makes you think that the lift is moving, but in reality, it never does, and you just stay on the same floor. So after a couple of long easter eggs, here's something short and sweet. If you follow the confusion ending, the one with the yellow line, you can find a Dallas mask from the Payday series. On to what is perhaps the most famous easter egg in the Stanley Parable, and that's the two areas that are dedicated to Minecraft and Portal. If you hop on the lift we stepped off earlier and jump onto the walkway, this will eventually happen. I'm out, I'm out, I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired, a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No. Here, and then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off... Yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. 
gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I love this easter egg, it's one of my favourites of all time. Just before the Portal and Minecraft areas, you play a mini game where you have to save a baby by pressing a button. The narrator mentions that the message of the game only becomes clear after playing for 4 hours, but I don't have the time for that so I use console commands to skip to the end of the baby saving game, and this is what happens. Nearly there Stanley, art itself is about to burrow into your skull. Aren't you excited for spiritual immortality? for transcendence and oneness with the beauty and essence of all beings? Just a few seconds now? Here it So if I'd played 4 hours just for that ending, I would have been pretty pissed. So that's it, that's 20 easter egg secrets or references in the Stanley Parable. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. I predict that this will be quite a long video, so if you've made it to the end, make sure to comment I have great stamina down below. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.